So in this tutorial, we're going to give you a kind of a quick overview as to how you can create a custom module, but not be forced to enter a name every time you create a new record in that custom module. So kind of let me go into a little more detail about this. One of the quirks of uh, Zoho CRM is you can create these great custom modules, but normally they're going to ask you when you create the record, it's going to give you a name. But let's just say this was just something where you had a office visit with somebody or you did a session with somebody. So maybe you're a psychiatrist and you're just recording these sessions and you really want to keep this very, very, very simple. And you just want to basically have the date and your notes. That's all you want. You don't want to have to give a title to that record every time you do it. Well, how would you do that? First of all, let's clean up the record as much as possible. So I'm going to get rid of, uh, you can do, we like to do this, create a thing called record data. And, you know, that way allows you to kind of get rid of a lot of the things that Zoho makes you keep, um, but that you uh, don't necessarily want to keep. So I'm going to, you know, the owner will be down here. You don't care about any of the email because of what we're creating here. Um, so what we really want to do is we've got this really clean record. And the only thing I want to put in here is uh, results, let's say. And session date. So let's just drop in date. All right, and let's give it a name. So we're going to call it session. Sessions, and then session for singular. And it's going to give you this name. Now, normally, if you were just to save this right now, every time you were to create a record where all you know was date and results, what you would actually have to do is actually give this some sort of title. You can only do this before you save. So before you save this record, if you click here and you go to Edit Properties, you can make it an auto number. And here we can just call this session number now. And we'll go ahead and be done with that. And so now it's basically going to auto number this. And it's also going to hide this field when you create a record. So we're going to go ahead and save that. That's saved. And I didn't do any association, but you probably want to associate it with a contact and do some other thing. But let me show you what that would look like now. So if I go into sessions and I go to create a new session, it's just very clean. It's what's the date? And what's the result? Everything else is hidden and kind of put away. Makes it really clean. You don't have to worry with anything. So I'm just going to type something in here. But what this looks like now is you will actually get a session number. So if we go look at now sessions, you're going to have your session number, the owner, the modified time. You can change whatever you want. But it automatically gave it a number. And that will kind of take you into what happened in the way. Anyway, a lot you can do with this. Really take a look at it. I think it'll uh, make things a lot cleaner in your CRM. We hope you found this useful.